let's say that you want that operator to see the downtime data. So I'm just going to create, take my downtime data. I'm going to drop it right here. And this is called the Play Applications Plugin, just Downtime Plugin. So on this screen, you can see there's a little bar here. This is going to show in the lower part of my screen. Very easy to do. I just dropped it in there. It's extremely easy to configure. Um, you can simply, all you have to do is tell us where the uh, server is, and we actually, we actually set that up one time, and it's ready to go. So these are these. Um, there's no really no configuration you need to do here once you install them, unless you want to look at a different server. Now, let's say I wanted to put um, some other information above that. So let me try. Let me show you uh, that. I'm going to put a gauge up here. I'm going to take this gauge. Pardon me. Wrong one. I'm going to take this gauge and I'm going to put it up here in this area. And you know, this is like a battery meter. So this is this is nice and all, but I think what I really want is uh, an arc meter. So I'm going to just change that to an arc meter. And so now, what I could do. Um, I could attach the OE right here. So now I can see my downtime, and at the same time, I can see the OE for this particular, um, for this particular um, piece of equipment or pieces of equipment that I'm looking at. Um, to do that, I'd simply attach this through page data. And here's where I could pull down the queries that are associated with the system, and I could quickly add uh, connectivity to this, uh, to this gauge and show it. I don't have the right connectivity set up right now, but if I did, this could show the OE for a piece of equipment. And this is all, this is all um, easy to change. You can set this to 100. Uh, so this is very simple. Um, you can change all these starting positions and so forth and, and size of the, the grid. That's not a problem at all. So I'm going to then, um, now I'm going to save this app. And I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to open this app. And what you'll see uh, when we go click on our page down here, this is the industry week page that we added right here. I'm going to see my meter up here, and I'm going to see my downtime right here. I did all that with zero code, no code at all, um, simply by dragging and dropping onto the screen and then hooking up this gauge through a REST API uh, and putting the data in the gauge. So very simple to do. Very straightforward. Um, I can even do things like maybe I just want to combine this uh, this information with um, uh, with my uh, supervisor screen, right? So I can do that. I can just say, well, let's just put the supervisor screen right up here, since I already have all the gauges built in for that. I can just drag that up here. I can save this app, and I can open it, and you'll see that I now have. My supervisor OE information above, and I have my downtime information below. So very simple uh, application to put together. Um, so hopefully that was helpful and showed you how flexible the software is in terms of uh, in terms of building your own screens if you want to do that. Obviously you don't need to because you saw the screens that we have out of the box. Uh, there are additional there are discrete screens here that um, are not on this particular demo. Um, we could uh, that we have that handle routing and handle nonconformance, handle the operator interaction through moving the operator through different operations. Uh, and so there's a lot of other stuff that uh, it's just doesn't have to be configured right here on the screen.